Laziness. Oh crap, here comes the random motivation at 2 in the morning. I gotta build a deck, I gotta get my wife back, and I need to visit my grandparents. Oh, and there comes the laziness again. You know what, it is 2 a.m. I should just go back to sleep, honestly. This this was pointless to do. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Crisscross. I am XVA, your narrator for this particular video. And today, we're looking at me, IRL. Let's go. I have your test results. <laughs> Did I pass? <laughs> uh, you you will soon. <laughs> uh, what? What are you doing with that gun? Oh god, no, please! Friendship with disgruntled Arabic man ended. Now Mustache Man is my best friend. I don't need that loser anymore. Sometimes I feel like I fake my depression for attention. My depression literally doesn't think it's good enough to be real depression. I got. Depression, depression. Oh, buddy. Just, you know, go have a steak. Treat yourself. Make yourself a nice bubble bath or something. Mother. My son will be a doctor. He will save people's lives. Father. No, he is too smart. He will be a scientist. Me, in the next room. That picture must be fake. Only grandparents do that. Right? No, no child that grew up with a computer that manages to livestream himself is, is that stupid. Right? 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 I love kindness. Unless it's a person at a four-way stop waving for me to go when it's clearly their turn! John! The Americans are asleep. Quick, post images of free healthcare. I can just hear the sound. Bim, 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 bim. Cool things about being an adult. Eat chips whenever you want. No bedtime. Tired all the time. Sad all the time. <sighs> Wait, hold on. This was supposed to be a positive post. <laughs> I want to be like 16 again. Playing Gary's Mod, because it was the only game that I could have afforded. I'm gonna freaking die disease. Symptoms. Tummy hurts a bit too much for a bit too long. And then you Google your symptoms on uh, WebMD, and yep, you got stomach cancer. I've done that though. I, uh, yeah. I know you. I know you feel, bro. Oh, that's your girl? The Mao. Then why did she just give me her number and insurance information after I rear-ended her car in the Applebee's parking lot? Hmm. That's a great question. I... I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and say it's because you just rear-ended her car in the Applebee's parking lot. <laughs> oh, but maybe that's just me. When the page is taking forever to load, so you hit reload, and just that exact moment, when you hit reload, it finally loaded. That man right there? That man right there is me trying to buy an RTX 3080. <sighs> I'll get one. Sometime. When God hates you, and only you in particular. Oh, I'm sorry, you wanted to come back to your car and have it be bearable inside? Well, guess what? Suck my d My Wi-Fi be like... Uh, connected. Connected, but no internet. You gotta hit him with the old ping 8888. Yeah, that'll, that'll see if you're connected or not. Bich. When the barber spins you around to reveal they've ruined your frickin' life. Not to be mean or anything, but you probably shouldn't put that much value into your, uh... <laughs> hairstyle if you look like that already. Like, what is that? W what on earth is that? <laughs> what is the opposite of because I need that information, like right now, like right, like right now, please someone, help! My address is 123 help! See, look, cases are dropping. Huh. Get stick bugged. Lol. That, that bottom right face? That, that's how I look right now. Except with long flowing hair and no suit, but... Accurate. You guys know how this car from Cars is a World War II Jeep? Which implies there was a car Hitler and a car Holocaust. And also there's a car Pope, which means a car Jesus died on a cross for their car sins. Like accidentally fueling up diesel. Oh my god! Shark! Dude, we're sharks. Oh. Right. This is how I feel about teenagers. Oh boy, don't even get me started. And I know this is probably going to make me sound like a narcissistic prick, but man, going to school where I went to school, surrounded by 
freaking morons. Depression isn't always obvious. Shaving my piano. Hey, billboards. Please upload again. No, really. I know you're still answering questions on your website, but... Bill, we miss you. Please make a video. Which, uh... That actually might cure my depression. Hint, hint. My dad's signature. My signature. Ah, oh, that one hurts. Oh, ha, 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 ha. I wish I had prettier handwriting. That's what I get for being sick for like five months in elementary school and missing out on all of the writing exercises. So now it's basically hieroglyphics. See, look, cases are dropping. Oh, they inverted the graph, which funny enough, isn't actually the first time they've actually done that. I'm pretty sure there was a graph relating to gun violence in the US and they just flipped the graph upside down with the numbers being inverted and they were like, Yeah, look, it's, it's, full, it's all good. The four stages of making a meme. Shower thought. Create meme. Post. 32 upvotes. Cause that's all you're getting. Now go back to posting cute animals. Sodium, an explosive metal. Chlorine, a deadly gas. All fuse to combine into... Table salt! The mightiest of materials and the stuff that makes my ramen just so, mmm, so tasty. Way, way too much salt. When you stop being shy around new people but you start getting annoying. Why are you like this? I don't know. It's not my fault, Mom, I swear. I don't mean to bring up Minecraft facts at the dinner table, please. America be like, time to vote for president. These are your choices. A hey, team blue all the way. A uh, red can go frick itself. That gravel pit is mine. Instead of power- Oh god, it's one of these. <clears throat> Sorry. Instead of powering it up, you just turn the cover to get started, and instead of clicking on next page, all you do is turn it. Pretty cool, eh? I know how to read a book, ma'am, and that condescending attitude is precisely why I dislike coming here, and it's probably related to the downward visitation trend in libraries overall. <laughs> Phones, technology, bad. You are banned from the library. When your friend about to do something stupid, but you kind of want to see what's going to happen. Oh yeah, I know the moment. The one where it turns from a, no, stop, don't do that, to a, it's probably not a good idea, but... I wish for a million more wishes. Oh no, what have I done? For my second date with my husband, we met in New York City and went to a party and ended up at a McDonald's at 3am where he reached across the table, grabbed my hands, looked at me adoringly and said, I hate this. I want to go to bed at 9. Do not expect this of me again. I mean, if he's your husband now, then one of you got their way. Or maybe both, because cherishing each other is worth any amount of sleep deprivation. I just received a two-hour voice message from my boyfriend. Oh boy. Guys, guys, I listened to it and his dumbass forgot to end the voice message after saying goodnight and just slept. And then he sent it? That's not how voice messages work. Quit your bullcrap. Bro, there's nothing like when your game loads for a second and you see yourself in the black mirror of your monitor and you have that brief clearness of mind and think, what the frick am I doing with my life? Then the happy colors come back and you forget all your problems. Man, that takes me back. It's been so long since I've played a game on something that isn't a, <laughs> a computer monitor. I haven't seen a reflective screen in years. Not all landlords are bad people. Hey, I noticed you were going through a tough time right now, financially. I heard you got laid off because of the pandemic. I hate seeing my tenants unhappy, so why don't you enjoy a rent-free month? Wait, really? You're amazing. Uh, I've been stressing for the longest time and this might actually be a gesture that gets me back up on my feet. You have no idea how grateful I am. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Go frick yourself. I need my rent. Daddy's gotta pay the bills. Believing in the Bible makes you as a Christian. Makes you as a Christ- <laughs> Sure, whatever. But reading and understanding the Bible from first to the last page makes you an atheist. Uh, yeah, okay. Strongly disagree. I do not permit a woman to teach or to have authority over a man. She must be silent. Please be silent, Sophia. If you see this, straighten your back, you banana-shaped frick. No, but seriously, guys. Uh, apply some proper posture. 
You'll be thanking me once you turn around 40 or 50. Also drink some water. When you're almost asleep, but you hear that you got a text and you have to roll over to see who in the world would be contacting you at the ridiculous hours of 9 p.m. Wait, 9 p.m.? What? 9 p.m.? Two days ago, I had someone call in sick the day before their work shift in the morning, and they messaged the group at just before midnight. I think you'll be able to handle it at 9 p.m. Severely injured woman heroically fights off paramedics trying to force her into medical debt. Now that, that is the American hero we all need. Or you could just live in a country with better healthcare where you don't have to sell an arm and a limb to get those same arms and limbs stitched up again. So I came in here a few months ago and bought this, and the antenna's already falling off. Can I just upgrade to an apple? The guy, <laughs> this guy wants to be mad, but can't. Could you? I couldn't. That's a good joke. Excuse me. My evil clone, pointing at me. Shoot him! He's the clone! Friend aims at the clone. The real Alex would never pass up an opportunity to die. Nice try! I can only be contacted by text messages. Hmm. Explain why you cannot be contacted by telephone call. I don't like it. Valid? If someone gave you $200 because you're ugly, would you take the money? Absolutely. I'm ugly, not stupid. Wait, why would someone give you 200 bucks because you're ugly? Why? What, what would be the reason? Are they turned on by ugly people? Is, is this an offer for... You know what, let's not read into this one. Me, stepping out of the time machine. I come from the future, soldier. Oh, great, we could use your help. Uh, thousands of us have died in this war for a treasure called salt. What, like, table salt? What, what, why do you call it that? Why do you call it that? Oh, you know, nothing. Uh, I think I need to step back into my uh, magic box and uh, leave. You, you, you guys keep fighting, though. You ever smell the air and it smells like the third grade scholastic book fair on a chilly Tuesday in October of 2007? No. N no. Have a safe flight. Ah, <laughs> you too. Ah, you too. God, I'm such a freaking moron. Ah, first the cashier at McDonald's and now my research assistant. Okay, and we're done for the day. Hope you've had a blast. I've been XVA for your listening pleasure. Hope you enjoyed all the way through. If you did, there's a big hug coming your way right now over your internet connection. If you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to subscribe to the channel, help Chris Cross get to 200,000 subscribers, a like, favorite, comment, share, etc. If you enjoyed, I will be seeing you in the next video. Take care, stay safe, wash your hands. XVA out. Bye-bye.